Hello. I posted a video titled, Winching a Tree Out of a Creek. You see it right down here a few days ago. And one of the viewers responded and said, hey, it might be nice to show a build video on the winch trailer that you used in that video. And uh, so entertaining that idea, um, I put this together. Now, uh, when I built the trailer, and I'll show you a picture of it, I did not take any videos of it. Um, I did snap some shots. So what I'll do is I'll do a little uh, photo slideshow working from uh, photos on my computer, filming it with my iPhone. Yeah, I'm real high tech here. <laughs> I'm a 65 year old man and uh, this is as good as it gets. I'm sorry, you'll have to bear with me. But anyway, uh, this is uh, the trailer. It has a Warren winch, nine and a half ton capacity on the back. And the trailer came from uh, a pressure washer that I converted to carry the trailer and tow it behind my quad. Um, the winch I had picked up on Craigslist and uh, again, Warren model 9.5 TI. It has a carrying ca uh, cradle and it drops into the receiver hitch, a two inch receiver hitch on the back of your truck. And so it's uh, mobile, you can move it around. And when I purchased it, um, in the purchase, I got two snatch blocks, uh, a shackle hitch with uh, 2D clamps, and then uh, I got a D clip clamp as well, and a couple straps, and all the hardware, the, the power cables to the battery, the remote, uh, uh, wireless remote receiving, and uh, it was a pretty good deal. Um, I bought it, you know, with uh, for the community, and I got all this for 700 bucks. And this was a few years ago, and I've been using it ever since. I originally used to load it in a little uh, uh, garden cart and tow it behind my quad, and then to set it up and you know bring them a big battery with it. And it was quite a hassle. And as I'm getting older, I got to find a smarter way to work. So uh, I stumbled across uh, a Karcher 2400 PSI pressure washer that was on the curbs at trash day. Somebody was discarding it. Uh, the pump was taken apart and it was in a box next to it. So basically the guy decided that with blown pumps, not worth it. Um, the model number on it was a K2400HH, just in case somebody kind of wants to duplicate this bill. Um, brought it home, started uh, taking it apart, removing the motor and all the hardware and everything. And I took this uh, side profile view of it so I could start uh, figuring out how I'm gonna utilize this trailer. Well, it's gonna be pulled behind my quad and it's going to be going over some rough terrain and through some creeks. So I, I definitely need more clearance than what this con current layout provides. So I'm going to have to remove the axle from here and, and relocate it down at its lowest point, which will raise the whole trailer up to the axle height, which will give me some clearance. So the first step was to... Uh, cut off the axle, which used to be mounted here, and relocate it down here. I got a temporary clamped in place. And then uh, I have to put a toe tongue on this thing. So I cut a square hole in this plate and, and purchased, uh, I, think it's a, I think it was a 36 inch uh, receiver, two inch receiver extension. And it'll slide through there and come out and, and that'll work as my tongue for my trailer. Here's a little close up of, uh, of the setup before getting it welded. I've got my uh, axle relocated and I've got the receiver hitch extension slid into place. 
in a little more backup view. So this is how it's gonna look. The, the winch will plug in right here. A battery will sit on, on this case. And then uh, the hitch serves as my tongue. And then I brought a two inch ball uh, receiver hitch that'll, that'll be welded onto the end there. Here's another view of it. Um, straight view from behind. A three quarter view of it from uh, above. Here it is, I'm setting it on, on the, the ATV hitch. And I, at this point, noticed that uh, my trailer tongue is tilting down toward the back, which is not a good thing because the, the, the winch is lower than I would really like it to be. Here's a better profile view of that situation. Angling down, not much clearance back here where I'm going to be dragging it. Don't really care for that setup. Apologize for my dog, Magic, barking in the background. Perfect timing, Magic. Thank you. Um, so what I had done, uh, came up with a second idea. In order to lower the front of the tongue, I uh, took a remnant of, of the leftover hitch extension that I had cut off and stacked it on top of the, the trailer tongue and would mount the, the, uh, the ball hitch on top of that. So that lowers this two inches, which then would raise the back two inches. So that was working for me. And this setup allowed me to use my shackle hitch and slide it in the lower channel and put the D clamp on there and then this would be utilized for uh, putting a tree strap in and running around a tree and that'll be my anchor point for when I do some pulling so that I like that effect okay so here it is mocked up on the on the quad and um, you can see there's less of an angle in that tongue so I'm liking that raise the back a little bit I'm happy with that I took it down to my friend, uh, Bill, down the street. He welded it all together and um, brought it home and uh, painted all the raw metal. So this is what it's looking like at this point. And you can see that I uh, drilled a, a hole for the, the pin for the, the shackle hitch to slide in. It's all looking good. A three-quarter view of uh, of the situ of the setup at this point. Here I have the um, the winch mounted, and I put the battery and a battery case up on the top. And at this point, I could slide that battery case front to back to to move the the weight away from the axle center to where it would counterbalance the weight of the winch. And that way um, it would reduce any weight up or down on the, on the tongue. And I got it to a, a, an equal point to where it sat fairly levels, which will enable it to be easily maneuvered with the handle when I get out into the woods. Here's another view of it at, uh, at this level showing it uh, you know, on the back of the quad and it's looking good, I'm happy with it so far. Another angle of that. At this point, I'm ready to uh, mount the battery. So I cut two pieces of angle iron. I notched them in the center so that I could slide a strap underneath the battery and over it and that'll serve to hold the battery down the angle irons will hold the battery so it doesn't slide front to back and these side supports will hold the battery so it doesn't slide left to right again another trip off to my neighbor's bills with a six pack of beer to pay him off and he welded all that up and i brought it back and spray painted it so now we're ready for final assembly Here it is with the battery case on board and the strap securing it down. I put all the original hose hardware back on, uh, 
on the uh, pressure washer and uh, um, was able to uh, utilize that uh, hose carrying hardware to hold the tree strap that I'll be using as an anchor point. Another view of the setup all put together. Was able to, to utilize some of the holes in the, the original pressure washer to run my, my wiring to connect the battery to the winch. And uh, since I do have a, a wireless remote control, there's a receiver unit for the unit. And, and so it's uh, mounted up on this panel here. So it, it worked out very nice. I was happy with the results. All right, so here's the, the setup at that point. And as you can see, um, the trailer still does tilt down a little bit in the back. I've used it this way numerous times and it works fine. With those small wheels, they do dig into to deep sand. And uh, though the, the quad's got the power to pull it, it does leave deep grooves in the sand and I prefer to tread lightly in the parkland when I'm down there. So I was looking for a better solution and I came up with um, using uh, some front tires off of a Craftsman riding mower. They're six and a half inches uh, wide, 13 inches tall. So they'll give me greater flotation on the sand and they'll also raise the axle up another two inches, which will give me some more clearance in the back here. So I'm happy with that idea. So I, I uh, searched around, bought a set on Craigslist, a used set. They were pretty beat up. The tires were dry rotted and he had, the previous owner had squirted uh, that green slime sealer in them. And uh, I was skeptical that that was gonna work, but uh, they still hold to day, air today. And it's been over a couple years. So I'm surprised that that stuff's working, but uh, um, it has so far. If, if they finally fail, I'll end up putting a, a tube in them. But anyway, so here's my mock-up. I uh, currently have some blocks of wood underneath the trailer to raise it to the right height where the axle will be for the taller tires. And you can see that the trailer is starting to parallel the ground and I've gained a few inches in the back. So I'm real happy with the, the perspective results. Here's a rear view of and then get a mock-up stage of what the wider tire will look like when built versus the small tires that are on there. And you can see quite a bit of a difference. I'll do a zoom in on the big one and a zoom in on the small one. And uh, you can see pretty pathetic. All right, another quarter angle mock-up of it. Looking good, I'm liking what I see so far showing it again at a different angle how it's going to set axles not on place yet here's a little side profile and you can see paralleling fairly well i'm happy with that a, a close-up zoom and uh like the angle looking pretty good uh i on this one i do have the axle clamped into place as on the mock-up so we're getting closer there it is you can see the clamps holding the axle get the the view of this in the rear all right so uh getting pretty close ground off the old axle and prep the metal for welding to put the new axle on and uh once again heading down to bills with a six pack of beer in hand and uh good neighbor friend is going to weld it all up together for me. Um, thing about those wheels that I bought, um, they do have only bushings in the front and they were pretty worn. When I slid them on the new axle, they were pretty sloppy, a lot of tolerance. So in searching for replacement bushings, I came across a, a conversion kit to convert them to bearings and uh, strongly recommended it. It was a, only $20 and I got a set of four bearings, new caps, all new, all new washers and, and clipping hardware. 
and uh, converted it to a bearing. So, and I recommend this for even people just using their uh, their riding mowers because if you don't stay up with maintenance and keeping those those front shims lubricated, the bushings I should say, they're going to wear your spindles out on your on your your uh, tractor. And uh, replacing the spindles is going to be like, pretty expensive, and sometimes it's the whole front end needs to be replaced. So uh, a good investment, strongly recommend it. Another thought is, is if you do have a, a tire that uh, is dry rotted and leaking air from everywhere, um, uh, putting an inner tube in it is a, is a great choice, but sometimes getting the tire bead to break loose from the rim using tire irons is a lot of uh, hassle and muscle. This is the way I do it. I just take a two by six uh, board, lay it on the tire right up against the rim, but not to be overlapping the rim. And then I just back my vehicle over and it pushes the tire down, pop, bead is broken. Little trick for you. All right, well, this build is completed and uh, this is a shot of me out on a job site. It's setting up the winch, ready to pull this big tree out. You can see the giant root ball and the trunk coming out. It's sitting in the creek, and uh, we want to yank that out. So um, here's the winch at doing that work. It's anchored to a tree, and it's pulling that big tree right out of the creek. This is something that it just I could do by myself or with an assistant just to safely watch me. But before we used to get to get out there and do a lot of chainsawing and cut it up, standing in the water and uh, dragging everything out, it'd have to get a crew of you know three or four helpers, and it was a lot of work. I say uh, um, uh, work smart instead of hard. This is an interesting shot. This is uh, one job we had done that was in the creek that. Uh, my anchor point was way up on the bank. And uh, once we started doing the pull, the whole, the whole trailer lifted off the ground and, and twisted over until it found its happy point and it continued the full pull in this position. So it shows you that this setup will work in any position. All right, so here's a shot of, uh, of me setting up the anchor, so I take my my tree saver strap, wrap it around a tree, and then I hook the two ends together and put them in the, the D-clip that's underneath the hitch, which you saw in the previous photos. And then finally, here we are uh, doing a tree removal from the creek. This clip came from that uh, that that YouTube posting winching a tree out of a creek. So if you want to watch the whole one, it's 20 minutes long. It's kind of boring for most people, but it's kind of entertaining for us techie guys. If you like to tinker, this might be of interest to you to look that one up. All right, well, that sums it all up. I appreciate you watching, and hopefully that answers any questions on how to build one of these things. We'll talk to you later. Everyone take care.